Last night, a breach of national security took place at Darwin's naval base, HMAS Coonawarra. A man boarded a patrol boat armed with a weapon and tied up a sailor on watch. He then stole 14 guns and remains at large. The Chief of the Navy responded by ordering a review into security at all Australian bases. But critics say a review conducted three years ago revealed complacency in security at bases and defence budget cuts haven't helped. HMAS Coonawarra is considered one of Australia's most vital Navy ports. Positioned at Darwin's Larrakia Barracks, it's the gateway to Asia and the headquarters of Northern Command, the centre for border security operations. It's a fleet designed to destroy and defend, but today the Navy is asking itself how a breach of national security occurred at one of its key northern bases. The early hours of this morning, uh, an armed intruder uh, gained access to one of our patrol boats alongside in Darwin, uh, overwhelmed uh, a member of the, the duty staff and uh, has managed to um, remove a number of weapons from the ship. It would appear to investigators that the person who was the, uh, the offender in these circumstances appeared to have uh, good knowledge of uh, the layout of the vessel and ADF procedures. At this point in time we've established that there's been two pump action shotguns and 12 semi-automatic pistols have been stolen from the armoury. A man dressed in military uniform and a balaclava boarded HMAS Bathurst while it was berthed at Larrakia. The sailor on watch was attacked. The person uh, was restrained by, by way of uh, some cable ties uh, and managed uh, after a period of time to uh, release themselves from those restraints and raise the alarm. The hunt is on for the man responsible. Police lock down the barracks, checking every vehicle on its way out. Anyone that has any knowledge of anything that's happened uh, on the base uh, of relevance, we encourage you to contact police at your earliest opportunity. And in relation to the community safety, the reassurance that I, I do have at the moment is that uh, there, there was no ammunition, no magazines that were stolen, and the weapons, uh, their status of the weapons at the point in time that they were taken, were unable to be utilised by the offender. How this could happen on a defence base is of major concern to the man in charge. Clearly I'm very concerned, it's not something that I would expect to occur and uh, that's why I've initiated an immediate review of our security practices. In one sense I am surprised, it's a pretty brazen attack, it's clearly been very well organised uh, and it's got a high degree of insider knowledge, um, but in another sense I'm not surprised, Darwin uh, is not a priority for defence based security. Um, it hasn't received a number of the other upgrades that defence bases in New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria have. Uh, and Larrakia is known as a pretty porous base, a base that's pretty easy to get into and pretty lightly defended. This isn't the first time there's been a security scare on an Australian defence base. In 2009, Holsworthy Barracks in Sydney was at the centre of a foiled terrorist attack. A group of Islamic extremists plotted a shooting at the Sydney Army base, intending to kill as many people as they could until they were shot dead. After this plot was uncovered, the then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd instigated a review of security on defence bases. That review identified that security was inadequate across 88 major defence establishments and it identified 16 priority bases that needed to be upgraded. Some of the upgrades included um, putting armed uh, permanent AFP patrols on bases like Garden Island in Sydney. Now for some reason uh, Coonawarra wasn't identified. That's a curious decision given that you've got the headquarters of Northern Command there and you've got some significant assets, particularly the Armidale class patrol boats. Former Army officer James Brown was based in Darwin for two years. He left the Defence Force and is now a military fellow at the Lowy Institute for International Policy. Mr Brown says another review into security at bases is not the answer. The investigation three years ago identified what the problems are. It's now just a matter of doing something about it. $330 million of spending was allocated. 
$203 million of that is yet to be expended. It was meant to be spent this year, but it was deferred back in May after the defence budget was cut by 10 per cent. But a lot of the really critical infrastructure, hardening access points to bases, um, putting in new gates and fences, uh, has still yet to happen. And some of that work's not scheduled to be completed until 2015. I can't see that a new investigation by Navy would unearth anything that wasn't already unearthed in the 2009 investigation. You'll understand this is a very serious crime and something that we're obviously very concerned about. I don't want to divulge uh, what the security arrangements were uh, and whether they were um, active or not at the time because that's uh, obviously part of the investigation. The Minister for Defence wasn't available to talk about this breach of national security today. Critics worry this shows the vulnerability of bases across Australia. Look, if you can do it in Darwin, a town that's got a high military presence, uh, that's very conscious about security threats, you can do it anywhere. Um, the fact that uh, someone has planned out this attack, uh, has executed it in quite a brazen way, um, suggests that they could have done it at another base as well. In a statement, the Defence Force says all but two of the recommendations from the 2009 review have been implemented. The statement says the last two recommendations relate to improving security infrastructure and identification regimes at defence bases.